So hi everyone. I see that you are not super excited because I know that there is a coffee break after our presentation, but really give us a chance, we will try all our best. And also, um, I want to say that previous presentations were really great. Thank you so much. Uh, we would like to contribute as well. So uh, let us start. Okay, so our topic is CRM and digital transformation why and how to digitalize customer relationships. So as in previous presentations was said that we not only should change the perception of how we work internally and also how we think. So today, LifeSpace and Alphabank presents you the case study and how we actually did change the perception towards how we work and what our clients think. So let us say first a little words about ourselves. So first of all, I present the company LifeSpace. So my name is Anna. Uh, surname is hard to pronounce, <laughs> whatever. Um, so I present the company LifeSpace, so which is actually the CRM development. We are uh, focusing on process and sales automation, task automation tool. And uh, uh, I will <laughs> pass the word to my colleague Maria. Uh, hi everyone, my, my name is Maria, I am uh, Chief of Customer Service in Alpha Bank and also last 15 years I was a Chief of Customer Service in different companies like telecom companies and also banks. So uh, my responsibility is uh, CRM integration, uh, VoIP technologies and also to organize different teams and uh, etc. So as you can see Ukrainian girl, the Russian girl, talking in English in Poland. <laughs> yeah. So let's start first of all from the goal. Uh, so the main business goal of the clients lower the cost of customer service. Two years ago, Alpha Bank started a new um, new strategy, and uh, this strategy means the growing of number of clients and. Uh, but optimize the cost of customer service. Uh, so, and we start to build a first uh, distance contact center for mass, uh, mass business customers. Um, this is the first uh, experience in uh, Belarus and here with us, Alexander Babko, my colleague. Uh, Alexander was the general order of this project in our bank. Okay, so let's go further. So we will first show you the effects and then we will go further. So what we have done and what our client achieved with the help of introducing the CRM system to the company. So the increase of 125% of clients in two years, which is really impressive for us as a supplier. Then the decrease in 63% of complicated cases uh, for clients also in one year. And the call duration, so which is the call center, the call duration decreased in five seconds per call. So, and all this was done without hiring new employees in the bank. So without hiring any new staff with increasing of such kind of uh, impressive increase in the client base. So our client was able to provide the high quality service for these customers. And go into the challenges because we actually faced a lot of different challenges, but we actually uh, wanted to show you only three of them, the main ones. So first of all, the tool that would allow to properly measure the quality of customer service. Actually, to measure properly all the elements of the customer service is really hard. I think you know that. And uh, uh, we, yeah, we, we met this challenge as well in our client. Then to receive the information about all the clients, all the segments from different channels. Uh, and to measure it, of course. And identify problems in internal business processes. Because it's hard to find the holes in your own processes inside. So maybe there are some steps that should be removed. Or some additional steps should be there as well. So these are our challenges. And, yeah. uh, and we look to the customer service uh, like an iceberg. Uh, first of all, uh, first part, uh, this is the things which our customers uh, look at the first. Uh, service level, what does it mean for us? 95% uh, of calls we need to pick up in 15 seconds. And uh, next, uh, first call resolution, 
um, most of the tasks uh, of our customers, we need to close uh, uh, from the first call. And agents' competitors, what we mean? Uh, we are listening to records of our agents and then to make uh, coaching for them. So this is uh, what is under the water. And uh, please look in deep down. Okay, so uh, this iceberg presents something on the top that clients see and recognize. And under the water is something which is going straight away just on the background that client doesn't see. So the first part is done by the Aviable IP. And uh, the under the water is done with the live space, so the CRM system. So first of all, I think you're also uh, familiar with SLAs. So how fast these tasks are uh, resolved? So actually customers had different complicated cases and not, and our client is able to measure and to track how much time it takes. And then the business processes, as I mentioned, is actually really hard to change it. And with the help of Lightspace, it's also was possible to actually find these problems inside of the processes. And of the very bottom is usability. So there are a lot of different applications and products available on the market. There can be brilliant, there can be too complicated, but if it's not possible to use and it's brilliant, it's hard to implement, it takes time and it takes a lot of money. So what we did, we actually adapted under the client's requirements the system. So we changed how it looks, we changed the functionality, and now uh, it suits perfectly the organization because we created it together. So and this is done with LiveSpace. And that was Terry. Um, first, uh, first we need to get uh, all information about our customers from different channels. So and Live help, uh, LiveSpace help us uh, to make this first step. So after, of course, our client should collect all the information about clients, so this number of tasks, so the number of requests of customers that come into the bank, so the resolution time, so how fast they're resolved, uh, topics, so the main topics with clients come with, and how busy the team is, which means how much time it takes for each team to solve it. And we are talking about contact center. So this why next step was the integration live space with Avaya. Uh, it's really help us uh, to know uh, which is uh, customers is uh, which is customers calling us, and uh, it's help us to save five seconds in each call. So and now after we collected all the information after we integrated the Avaya and we have already all this data in one place. We also did some stuff with the analytics. So for example, uh, real request showcase and report management. So all these things that we collected and our customer collected, we were able to put in the reports to analyze it, to compare it in different months and also to the previous periods. Uh, uh, do you remember the video of Charles about the pub? Yeah? And uh, this is why we created a um, a help team uh, in our bank uh, to solve the most complicated cases. And uh, uh, on the next slide, uh, we will show you how it works. So, and yeah, at the end, we had a success together. We measured all of the activities we did together. And we figured out that there is a, actually a huge increase in uh, client base. So we were hiring new staff and uh, decrease of complicated cases. And of course, as the goal of the customer was to lower the cost of the customer service, so we lower the cost together. And there is an arrow that we actually expect more from this cooperation. And we're still in working and maybe next year, with next uh, conference, we will show you the results uh, which relates to that. So now coming to the next slide. Yeah, and uh, our uh, help team, uh, uh, this is, uh, we present you this year. Uh, you may see how many uh, long tasks we get in January in uh, how, uh, uh, how much it will in August. Uh, we believe that uh, banking service need to be easier and simple. 
So uh, we need them to make a reason for our customers to call us and to contact us. So and uh, uh, our help team, with the help of LightSpace system, to find uh, the difficult cases and to make our business process more easier. So, yeah, why this graph actually show you the negative trend that usually we like that everything is rising up. But in this case, it's a good way <laughs> because we see that there is a decrease of complicated tasks. What does it mean that actually clients doesn't have, don't have to call you second time? They have more self-services that they just don't need to call someone to ask questions. And that is why there is a 63% decrease of the number of tasks created and complicated tasks, which means that they take usually longer time to resolve. And uh, on the way, also, the Maria shares the information that actually internally there were changed 67 processes, which is this year. This, this year. year. So, um, for us, it's incredibly important. We, we know that with the implementation of the IT projects um, comes a lot of different changes internally, but not always for a good one. So, some of them for test something, some of them actually help. So, yeah, our client did a lot for just one year in the bank. And now we would like to make uh, some activity. So yeah, uh, because you are sleeping somewhere in the back, so we want to ask you questions. So, yeah, uh, could, you, um, uh, could you tell us uh, how many of you in your banks know uh, top 10 uh, tasks uh, which uh, nervous or worrying of your customer? Like some problems. You can raise your hands. Just raise so your who hands. knows? One, two. <laughs> yeah, you're from us. Two, like three. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. Not a lot of you, but still. But or maybe some of you just don't raise your hands on during conferences. It's okay <laughs> as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. And so, uh, how many of these five uh, companies know? Um, the general um, uh, channel. So how it relates to your segments of customers. So these top 10 problems of each segment of your customer. Do you know? Oh, okay, wow. we have lady who knows. <laughs> yeah. And also, and <laughs> how, how <laughs> you, you, yeah, you left alone, so maybe you also measure how it relates to each team of your customer support. Do you measure as well? Great, so we do it as well. Now our customer also started. And finally, it relates to the product, of course. So we measure, our client measure, not only top problems that clients have, but also how it relates to each segment. So if each segment has its own problems, also the topic based on the team. So it means that each customer support team is resolving problems in different time and based on the product. So each product, team, segment and topic. So, uh, so if you're talking about SLA, uh, right now we can say that our clients know uh, how much time they will spend uh, to make it clear, uh, make, make, make the clear the, uh, this task with the bank. So yeah, at the end of the process, the client knows how much it would take to resolve his problem, so which is really great. And now we are coming to the, yeah, not so fancy thing, but yeah, this is live space. This is how it looks for our Alpha Bank. I will guide you, don't worry, I know it's hard. <laughs> so we will start from, this side, there is a, there should be, oh, okay. So we're starting from this side. This is VoIP panel, so this is our Avaya integration within the live space. So as you can see, when the client is calling, we have his number already here. And if, his, if this client is existing customer, we have already him identified here. So we know that this number is from this guy and we can answer the call, close it, also transfer to another agent, for example. and. The next thing that actually we can already register the request. So all this information about the customer is automatically identified and put it in the request registration form. We don't have an agents, our users don't have to do it manually. It's really fast and it takes really seconds. And then they put the topic, so why customer called them, so what is the request, why, what is the reason, and they identify um, the team which should 
resolve this problem. And what is really a cool thing that even if agent is on the call, during the call and uh, the call is not finished, um, not finished yet, so this request already went further. So it's already somewhere there and someone is solving it already. So the next thing is the client statistic, which is also uh, really important because before uh, each client calling should actually repeat the information about himself or about him, his problem again and again. So he called new, calls new agent and okay, I have this problem, but I already explained it why I should do that again. So we actually tried to resolve this problem. We put the five last tasks request of the customer so that each agent who pick up the phone this particular moment knows what was the last request, if they're in progress, if this client has something right now opening some discussions and provide the help. So uh, the next thing is informational wall so that users can actually put all of the notes, uh, all of the comments, maybe some questions to colleagues, put on the informational wall uh, and as well the task management. So you all, if you use CRM, of course you do. <laughs> Uh, you have this task management tool, so you have the task for all today, tomorrow, you have them planned, uh, also the reminders. So this is how our dashboard looks, and it should be mentioned that previously, actually, uh, agents should like switch between the windows, because they had different applications in different places, and now they have it in one place, So, which was our goal to actually make it more efficient and fast. And one funny story uh, with uh, this dashboard, uh, we have a new employer, and uh, her chief told to her uh, to uh, make every task uh, to every action. And one day we uh, find in our live space tasks called coffee. Uh, uh, these girls uh, put every cup of coffee of every customer in corporate center. So right now we know how many coffees uh, our customers drink. So yeah, she understood it like literally. Yeah, you may see everything. Meeting and the, the picture like a cup of coffee. Yeah. So what is the secret? Uh, first, uh, adequate customer. Uh, then flexible system, and then teamwork. So first of all, our customer was looking for easy to set up system, and yeah, that doesn't require much time and resources. And we have the special period, uh, trial period, we call it pilot, uh, when uh, implementation adaptation plan uh, produced impressive, uh, impressive results. And uh, you may see, this is a different communication between two country, uh, companies and two countries, Belarus and Poland. Uh, Russian speaking, Poland speaking, English uh, speaking, uh, Ukrainian speaking, Belarusian speaking. So uh, it's really, really a hard and perfect teamwork. So also efficient preparation of all the legal documents, the group terms of cooperation in terms of EU and non-EU, so between Poland and Belarus. So all the documents were to, uh, into languages, also a lot of negotiations, how to make it, them more clear for both sides. So yeah, it took us a lot of time. Uh, and uh, Raiden is surprised to meet high standard of banking, uh, of banking sector. Yeah, the, oh. these requirements were really high, <laughs> I should agree. <laughs> So, uh, so do you want to know how to increase the client base uh, in uh, one part of it and 25% uh, uh, in two years? You, you can uh, yeah, you raise can your raise your hand. Like, please do. <laughs> okay, okay, you can ask uh, our colleague Alexander at the coffee break. He's just right there, so please raise your hand. Oh, okay, now you see him. So, yeah, you can ask the questions. He will, with the pleasure, answer all of them. Uh, and now I will tell you more, I have a little bit of time and, uh, about life space in a nutshell because probably not a lot of you heard about that because in the banking, we, we, are, we have really specific customers in the banking sector were not so long time ago. So how it looks today, we have more than 500 companies who actually trust us, which means more than 4,000 users. 
And these are some of the logos of our customers. Um, yeah, there are more of them. You can uh, you can check on our website. And uh, of course, we were the finalists on different competitions. We also got last year the investment for Aria Fund investment. And we are really proud of it. We are proud to have the Alpha Bank as one of our customers, and we hope that we will help uh, more and more for sure. banks, <laughs> yeah, and for uh, our client as well. So please. <coughs> Don't hesitate to contact us. We, of course, cannot put everything what we did in this 20, um, 20 minutes. So please, if you have any questions, if you want to have a full presentation, a full case study, we prepared the special email address for that. So please contact us and also add us on LinkedIn. We will answer all your questions because, yeah, I hope there will be some. And really, really thank you for your attention. Uh, we tried all our best. I think, I, I hope that you're not falling asleep. And now is a coffee break, Ubi, so. <laughs> keep no, going. now we actually have. Thank you very uh, much. Thank you, thank you for the presentation. Now thank you. Thank you so much. We have actually a time for one question. So oh. Do we have one? We have never time for well, questions. Well, I have them. Okay. So please uh, give us some pros and cons on having a serum online and have it on premises. Okay, so for our Alpha Bank uh, client, we actually moved everything to their server because banks should have all this, all data about clients in their server. But of course, we are also the cloud-based. So for companies which are smaller, we are cloud-based, so we have this on IBS, so Amazon servers, and we have it also in Poland. So we now we are migrating all other customers to IBS. But yeah, for corporate clients, we are moving into their servers or to service in their country, let's say, to not have legal problems to make it safe for them. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.